everyone, my name is Nicole and welcome to the Weeks Nest DIY. today's video, we are going to be making some world market dupes using Dollar Tree wood pieces. I have four super easy projects for you using wood pieces from Dollar Tree, so let's get started. So the first one is this really pretty kind of vintage butterfly frame. Now I got this frame from Hobby Lobby. Dollar Tree does have very similar ones and I did provide this printable that I made which will be in the description box below. So what I did was obviously the entire printable is not going to be on this frame but I centered it so I can get a little bit of both sides of the butterflies and then also make sure that you trace the inside of the picture frame because otherwise you're not gonna see your picture. <laughs> then to apply, I'm gonna use some Mod Podge. I broke up with Mod Podge a while ago, but I am back. I love it because I finally realized if you add enough, spread it out, let it get a little bit tacky, it does, this is the one time you wanna be tacky. <laughs> you let it get tacky. It um, holds really well, and I always like printing on cardstock. I find that that helps eliminate the whole bubble issue that a lot of people get with Mod Podge. And let me know down in the comments if you do print out my printables, do you use regular computer paper or do you use cardstock? And that is it for this. I just love the vibrant butterflies. They had that vintage look against kind of like the book pages and I have this in my gallery wall that look what I made was also a recent project or like a month or two ago. I can link down below but super easy dupe using a inexpensive wood frame. Up we're going to make this fun modern planter. Now recently on Instagram I saw Jessica Lynn, her channel used to be Measure and Mix, I think it's Jessica Lynn at home now. On Instagram she shared a large planter in this style. I was obsessed with it. I will link her channel down below. I'm not sure if she did a tutorial on it also but I did see it on her Instagram which I can link. Now for mine I'm taking this planter from Dollar Tree. I took a Dollar Tree shovel, which my friend Kristen K recently did a Dollar Tree shovel hack video. I will link that down below. It is amazing, as is everything she does. So I took two shovels. I, I cut them in half, and then I only used three pieces. I did sand them down so they weren't, like, super rough. Um, and I just used some hot glue and staggered these. Now, the way that I saw it done was like the drilling the holes, which you could totally do. But since I'm using really lightweight faux greenery, the hot glue held up fine. I just made sure that everything's set. And you get that look that you get at like West Elm or World Market for a lot cheaper. In my little reading nook, I've just been making this like very like boho and fun. I wanted to continue that kind of vintage butterfly look. So I decided to take the printable and make this in a round shape and we're gonna add this to some Dollar Tree foam board. I'm gonna first add some Mod Podge. I went ahead and made the circle shape of the wood ring that I'm gonna use from Dollar Tree. So I just Mod Podged on the foam board. I added my printable and then let that set. And then with some hot glue, I added, you get these in a two pack in two different sizes from Dollar Tree, a wood ring. Now, initially I had added some hot glue, which I'm gonna show you here, to the wood ring. And I just found that by the time I got it on the foam board, the glue started cooling and it just did not adhere properly. So I'll show you that in a second. It's just, it didn't work. So instead what I did was I took some hot glue and I added it to the border of the printable on the foam board. And as you see me doing here, I like to keep it real on my channel. Not everything I have in my head works, so this is the way that I did it. I added the glue this way and then quickly added that wood ring, let it set, and then with a box cutter, I was able to cut this out. Now, since this is foam board, I do find that foam board does not always cut like the prettiest. So we're gonna add some Dollar Tree nautical rope to this once we have this all cut out. 
Um, it's, it's the cotton rope that kind of looks like macrame cord. I feel like it just looked nice with this. Add a little bit of texture. You know I love texture in my decor. So that is what I did. Super easy and again, just a really inexpensive way to take some Dollar Tree items, some wood pieces, some foam board, add a printable and you get a store bought look for a whole lot less. You know I love macrame and World Market has some awesome macrame decor. So this last project is my favorite of the four. We're going to make this small macrame shelf. Dollar Tree does have some macrame items now. This is the cord, which is really good quality. It just doesn't come with a lot. And they also have a few different sizes of the macrame wood rings. Let me know in the comments if you've seen these. The macrame lover in me is so excited to see some items. So I just used cord I already had because I wanted this to be longer. By all means, use the Dollar Tree cord. Just keep in mind that you are going to have to use more. So what I did was, I think these are like 60 inch pieces. I took eight and I just looped them through the ring. And then I'm going to gather them at the top with a gathering knot before I split everything and make our macrame knots. Sure to check the description box below. I have shared how to do a gathering knot. It's basically just a way that you wrap around and secure the macrame cord with a knot. Um, I've done this a whole bunch of times. I will link those tutorials down below as well as the square knot tutorials. So in case you're watching this and you want something a little bit slower, that will be there in the description box for you. Once everything is secure, we're going to go ahead and split these cords down the middle. So you're going to end up having four sets of four strands that you are, can do knots on or you don't have to do any knots. You can just gather these in the bottom. You still get the look of the macrame cord to hang your shelf. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the far left set of four cords and make a basic square knot. So I'm gonna go from the right, go over the middle two, take the left, go under and through for the first part of the square knot. And then for the second part of the square knot, I'm gonna take that outer left cord, go over the two middle, have the right one go over, under, and loop through to make our square knot. And then I'm gonna go ahead and to the next four and do the same thing. So everything that I do on the left side of this, I continue to do on the right. first two square knots are done, I'm going to go ahead and connect them with the square knot, just taking the outer two cords to the other outer two, making that middle knot. And again, I have tutorials on square knots, so if this looks confusing to you, you can go back, see a slower one. But basically with this, you could do any form of knots that you want to do. I didn't follow a pattern from the World Market one, I just did what I thought would look nice on this. We're going to do a half hitch knot. So I'm going to take that far left cord. I'm going to use this for all four strands on the left side. I'm going to take the next cord, make a U, then loop that through twice to make a knot. And this just basically gives you a macrame line. So again, make a U, loop through, and I'm going to do this four times so it kind of meets in the center. And then I'm going to take that far right cord of our set here of square knots and do the same thing. So taking that same cord, make a U, loop through once, and then again for that next cord.
And then I'm gonna go ahead and take the far right cord and for the next four strands, do the same thing, making that U loop through for the first part of the knot and then make a U again for the second part of the knot. This is the half hitch knot and I can have a more detailed tutorial on this knot down below. But again, if these knots seem too much for you, then you can just not do them. You could do a basic square knot, you can even do a tassel, whatever you want. Once those knots are done, I'm just going to join them with a square knot. Kind of makes the V come to a point. So we're gonna take those middle two of the both square knots and then make one square knot or you could do a basic knot to have them meet in the middle. And then once I'm done with this side, that part that's knotted over there to the right, I'm gonna repeat the same process of knots on that side. So once they are both done, I'm going to go down about three or four inches and just do um, some spiral knots. So I'm gonna do six of these and what you do is wherever you pull from, so I pulled from the right, I'm gonna continue to do that, kind of like a half square knot, six times and then as that works up, it makes a spiral versus a square knot. So I'm gonna do that for all the sets of square knots that have those pieces down. So you will do this a total of four times, six half square knots to make four sets of spiral knots. Always use that first set kind of as a place to eyeball where um, everything should line up. Again, it's about three or four inches. I just made sure that everything started the same way as that first set of spiral knots. So I did this a total of four times. Now for the shelf of this, I'm actually using this small, came in a two pack, it's a macrame wood shelf kit from Dollar Tree. I just thought that adding the macrame cord, whether you use one on Amazon, Hobby Lobby, um, Dollar Tree, it just makes it look more like the world market look. So I kind of figured where I wanted this to hang. So I went down about six inches or so, did another gathering knot on the bottom, and then I was able to fit in my shelf. I just made sure when I secured that gathering knot, I trimmed everything, put that shelf in, and that was it. I love how this turned out. If you've stuck around this long, let me know what you think of this project. And I have my cute um, Edgar Allan Poe planter from Amazon, which I have linked down below. It's my favorite. The English major in me just loves some Poe. So I have this on the shelf and I just love the way that this turned out. If you enjoyed this video, I hope this gave you some ideas to get a store-bought look using inexpensive, easy to find items from the Dollar Tree, even some unexpected ones that you wouldn't think you can turn into something, but you definitely can. So as always, let me know in the comments which of these projects was your favorite. And if you're not already subscribed, I definitely invite you to do so. Make sure you turn on that notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video. As always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.